Apple Notes keeps on getting better and better. And one of the best things about Apple Notes is that it synchronizes across all of your devices. This means that it, what you do on your laptop, you can easily pick up where you left off on your iPad or your iPhone and even see it on your Apple Watch. With the latest update, iOS 18, Notes is even better. Did you know that in Notes, you can easily link notes together? add hyperlinks, add block quotes, customize notes with colors, and create collapsible sections. But I believe one of the most indispensable features of Notes is its integration with reminders. Stay tuned in this video as I cover the basics, share pro insights, and even throw in a few bonus tips. If you find my video helpful, click the thumbs up button and subscribe so you'll be notified of new videos. So let's get started. And you can see the Notes app is right here. I'm going to open it up and give you a quick overview. This is the first page you'll see in Notes. It shows you any folders you have up here. On the top, you have the ability to edit. Uh, the first thing you'll see are any quick notes you make. Under that, you'll have shared notes. If you have notes uh, that you share with a family member or you collaborate with somebody, that's where they'll appear. Creating a note is easy peasy. Just look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you'll see a box with a pencil. You'll see a folder with a plus sign on the left. Clicking the folder will add a folder. Clicking the box with a pencil will add a note. So let's go ahead and add a note. I'm going to just type something random. This is a new note. Then I'm going to press done over here. And I'm going to go out. Now notice under where it says today, you'll see this is a new note. So the first line of any new note becomes the title. So think about that when you're writing your notes. If you want an actual title, then type that first. Once I'm in a note, I can easily just add to my note in a number of ways. I can dictate a note. Here I am dictating a note. All I did was press the microphone at the bottom of the screen in order to do that. To get out of your dictation, just press it again. Accessing a few different menus to customize your notes. So let's go through them one at a time. You see a capital A and a little a. That's your text customization. So I'm going to press that. And here I can choose to make this a title, a heading, a subheading, body, Monostyle, then it goes through all the different things. So I'm going to make it a title. And now I'm going to add another line, press my text customization. You'll see I see it differently now because I'm not using my mouse, I'm using my finger. I can have a heading here. I can choose a format of bold, italic, underline, or even cross out. I can have multiple. So Press the X to type. Here is bold plus italic. You can format before you type or after you type. If you want to change format, you just click on it and select it. Then select text formatting and you can change it. So we can change that to a subheading and we can take out bold. And that is not bold. Uh, or I can make this not bold, not italic and make this bold. And there we go. Here is bold and italics. Uh, a few other things you can do. You notice the menu. I can have a bulleted list by selecting the second choice here to customize. And it's useful uh, when you're creating a to-do list and then you want to mark uh, something done. You just press it and then you know it's done. Uh, and then when you press return to go to the next line, it adds another uh, list icon. If you go to the third icon, you'll see that you can add a table. Just randomly added some details. Now, uh, here's my table. I want to show you a couple things. I can click on the three dots that allows me to change the columns and change where they are. I could also click on the three dots and then that would allow me to add a column before or after it. I could delete it just by pressing delete column and now I I just have the one column. So that's how you can uh, work with a table. The next icon right here is something I use almost every day, the paperclip icon. Now when you press that, you're going to see uh, a whole bunch of great things you can do. Scan text allows you to point your iPhone at a physical document and scan the text 
it will place the text as editable text inside your note. Scan documents I use all the time. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I have a document here. I'm going to scan it by pressing scan documents. I'll hold my phone right over the document and it's going to take a picture. Now I want to customize it before I save it. So I'm going to click on the document and then uh, you'll see on the bottom of the screen, uh, I have this uh, icon which allows me to uh, make sure that I'm getting just what I want. So I just want this part about first aid right there. And I just grab on the circles to adjust the corners. When I'm done, I'll press done. And now I have a document that I'm going to save. So when I'm done, I could retake it. You see on the right hand side, I can retake that if I'm not happy. Okay, so I'm going to press done and I'm going to show you how this is so easy to add right into a note. Pressing done. It's either ready for a next scan, so you can scan a multitude of pages or you can just save this. And now you'll see the scan document is right in my note. A couple things you can do. If you press uh, where the title is here, press that little carrot there, you can rename it right here. I'm just gonna rename it and then press save. And there we go. Another thing I can do, press on this. I, you'll see at the bottom here, view as, you can customize the size of the attachment. Click on that, view as, I can change it to small. And now I have a lot more room here. Now, another thing you can do, uh, which I use almost every day, is dictate. Down at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a microphone. When you press that, it will listen to everything you say and it will be dictated right into your note. Let's try it. Right now, I'm creating a note by dictating into it and everything I say is being picked up by the microphone and recorded right into my note. So let's go back to uh, where you can see my folders. You can see I have a, a whole bunch of folders nested inside of my notes folder, uh, and each one has a title, and when you open any of them, you have notes that are inside. And when I go out to my full home page of notes, you can see I have quite a lot of folders. I have a folder called recipes. Let's open it up. And in that folder, I wanna search chicken. And these are all my chicken recipes. Now, if I don't wanna have lots of folders, there is another way to do this, which involves uh, just having all your notes out in the open in notes and tagging them, which means uh, you can have more than one tag. I could tag it chicken, I could tag it dinner, I could tag it Thanksgiving and I can have multiple tags, and then I can create smart folders. I'm gonna go out to the beginning and press new folder. And I'm gonna call this folder chicken recipes. And you'll see below that, I have make into a smart folder. So I'm gonna click on that and click on tags, and I'm gonna click any selected tag, go to show more and look for the one that says chicken and press done. The I am creating a smart folder, and when I press done, you're going to see the smart folder right at the top, right here, chicken recipes, and let's open it up, and now I have all my chicken recipes. If you have a folder and you don't want it anymore, you're going to tap on the folder and slide left. You're gonna press the trash can, and now it's gone. Delete that smart folder. Let's go ahead and try another folder and make this one a little broader. We're gonna pick add folder. I'm gonna call it dinner recipes, make into a smart folder. And the tag is gonna be any selected tag that says dinner. Press done and now press done again. And there is my smart folder now and you see there's 96 recipes. Okay, so when I did the smart folder for chicken, I had about 20 recipes. Uh, but now I have 96. So let's see why that happens. Here's a chicken recipe. I'm going to click on it. When you go down to the bottom, you'll see I have two tags. I have it tagged for dinner right here. The first one, hashtag dinner. Second one, hashtag chicken. That's why that can come up in a smart folder just for chicken or a smart folder just for dinner. Now I have a smart folder just for all my dinner recipes. Let's make another one, iCloud. 
I'm going to call this lunch, make and do a smart folder, tag, any selected tag, and here's lunch. Press done, press done, and now I have lunch recipes. Clicking on that, I have 51 recipes. Some of the recipes you'll notice were in dinner and in lunch because I decided when I was adding my recipes that this could be served easily for lunch or dinner. I also have a third tag here, vegetarian. So perhaps I want a smart folder for vegetarian recipes. Add a folder here, iCloud, new folders called vegetarian recipes. Make into a smart folder. The tag is gonna be any selected tag, vegetarian. I'll press done, I'll press done again. And now you have dinner, lunch, and vegetarian. Now maybe I want to put it in different order. I can grab it and move it in the order I want. When I click vegetarian recipes, notice I still have that same top recipe, uh, but now all the recipes here have been tagged vegetarian. I'm sure you can come up with a good way to use smart folders and tags for your organization. A great thing about uh, Apple Notes is its ability to have live audio and audio transcriptions right into your note. So I'm going to show you a few examples here. First example is I received a phone call. I accepted the call and you notice right at the top where I'm pointing right now, there's a little squiggle and this little icon here means audio recording. When you press that during a call, the person you're speaking to will hear a, a memo that says this call is being recorded. Uh, and then what happens is at the end of the call, you'll have uh, a recording. So let me play it. Hey mom, how you doing? Okay, how are you? As it's recording, it's creating a transcript. I can see the transcript or I can see the recording. I can find something in the transcript when I'm all done. What happens is I can save the transcript right into the note. Another very useful feature uh, with iOS 18 is the ability to have live audio or live transcripts. If you're in a meeting or if you go to a lecture and it's easier for you to listen and read your notes later, this is really useful. Let me show you how to do that. You will be in a new note, press the paper clip, go all the way down to record audio, and you'll see a new recording screen pop up. Once you press the red record button, it will start recording, and as it's recording, you'll see the transcript. Let's see. Seconds or so. She's like a human top in perpetual motion. Those spectacular turns are called fouettes, which means whipped in French, describing the dancer's incredible ability to whip around without stopping. But when we're all done, we'll be able to check the transcript, and it will be automatically saved to your note and you can play it again if you need to listen to it again. You can also go back and review the transcripts, which may or may not be perfect, uh, but you'll have a record of the meeting or the lecture. In my customization, I have the opportunity to change the background. I can have lines like this for handwriting. I can have large boxes like this. I could also have it as graph paper and figure things out that way. Another customization option, it's called adding block quotes. Uh, right here I have some text that you can see and at the bottom is what a block quote looks like. To add a block quote, it's easy. I'm just going to select anywhere to place the text. I'm going to paste my text, then I'm going to select it. I'm gonna select the text formatting button and I'm going to choose mono styled and I'm gonna choose the block quote button at the bottom. So now it'll look like a block quote. Now, if you don't like the line on the left, all you have to do is select, select your, your text again and go ahead and deselect the line and it's gone. In your text now using your iPad or your iPhone, here's an example. I've uh, written the same text a number of times and each time I've changed a color. So I can show you how to do that. I'm just going to copy, paste it, select the text editing tool, and you'll see a blue circle right here. We're gonna select that and that's where you can change the color. So you can pick any color you want and now it's a different color.
Another great feature for iOS 18 using notes is collapsible headings. Let's see what that means. Right now I have some text all about the Roman Empire and it's, as you can see, you only see the headings. On the left hand side of all the headings are carrots and when you press them, it opens up the body of the text for all of them. I didn't have to collapse any of them, but when you do that, it takes a up a lot more space. All you have to do is put your text in and the heading part needs to be, needs to be either a title, a heading, or a subheading. We're gonna make it a heading. And once you do that, what happens is the triangle appears, then you press done. And now you have your collapsible heading that you just created. When you press on it, the text appears at the bottom. When you press on it again, the text is disappeared. A couple of ways you can use notes. So I have a folder called streaming. I've called it streaming. Inside the folder, I have a list that I keep of movies to watch or where I can find the movies I wanna watch or TV shows to watch. You can even have a running list as you find shows you wanna watch and keep them there. I also have a list for birthday gifts so I can keep track of maybe birthday gifts I wanna buy. A uh, list of books to read. Uh, this one is uh, a collection of places to go to get books to read. A list of completed books. Notice these are images, and I'll get back to why in a second. And then here, uh, more books to read. I told you at the beginning a few bonus tips would be coming. Here they are. First one, if you're somebody who tries to keep track of a lot of things, notes will come in handy. You can have separate lists for all the different things you need. So here's a list of art supplies with a to-do list or a grocery list if you want uh, for the things I might want. So as I get them, I can check them off. Um, and then this is the store I might get them at. Okay, and it links right to the website. Another way you might use um, notes, I put this together, wines I need. I have uh, a list of the top 100 wines, plus I chose three that I might want. If I click on the top, it's gonna go right to the website where I can read more. If I find a wine that I had chosen, I can click that I found it and it goes to the bottom. This is my favorite thing. You can actually use notes in a way uh, that kind of replaces what you've lost with paper. Uh, I don't know how old you are, but I remember when I used to go to concerts, you got paper tickets and they were cool and you saved them and you had scrapbooks and you kept the concert tickets in there. But now when you get tickets to go to a show or a concert, it's on your phone and it's not as fun. So here's a way you can collect your concerts, your shows, wherever you go, more like a scrapbook. It's called Concerts I Loved, and here you have all the tickets, you know, tickets saved digitally as a note. So there you have it, my tips and tricks for how to use notes on iOS 18 and beyond. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you wanna suggest my next video, and go to my channel to watch my other videos. See you next time.